know, Dolly's career has taken her everywhere. I mean, think about all the touring that she does and how much time she must spend on the road. She essentially has a home on wheels, too. We're talking about her tour bus, right? Yeah, and it's a kind of place that now Dolly's biggest fans can actually spend the night in. Dolly's bus. <laughs> One of Dolly's biggest fans is our Heather Haley. Yes. Hey, did you know that this experience is right here and available to you? We're gonna show you a behind the scenes tour of Dolly's old tour bus. This is suite 1986. Yes, this is actually Dolly's old tour bus. She pretty much lived on this thing a lot of times, worked on this bus, toured on this bus. That's actually why it's got a little bit of a vibe here. She was a road warrior herself. Some things like a full size fridge, not something you would normally see on an RV, or of course, you know, the, the crystal encrusted guitar is not what I keep on my RV that I don't actually own, but this is the kind of cool things that only Dolly could pull off. Uh, how about the fact that we went with three bunk beds instead of six, because obviously Dolly needed extra closet space for again, more rhinestones, more crystals, more shoes, more jewelry, because of course the girl needed all the accessories. Got a second bathroom here as well. Actually, I love this one. Come here, check this out. It's actually got a little tub inside. So, you know, just a nice little special space that Dolly had right here on her bus. And this really was her space. Jen Webb joins me now with Dollywood. So tell me more about Sweet 1986. This was something she really spent all of her time on for a very long time. It was. So she got this bus in 2008 and we acquired it um, towards the beginning of last year. Um, I believe her last time coming to Dollywood on it was last um, March, I think. Um, but she spent uh, this bus traveled 360,000 miles. So that's a lot of miles. It's a lot of time on this bus. Um, so it's something that's very important to her. Um, she really loved all of her time on this. She kind of called it, you know, one of her favorite homes. So it was very important to her. She did a lot of great projects on here, including Backwoods Barbie, 9 to 5 the Musical, really anything from 2008 until last year. You can bet she probably wrote um, and created on this bus. Oh, amazing. And we're actually in the space that she did a lot of her writing. There's a private door there she could shut down. But right here, obviously, you look around and it, it feels as glamorous as Dolly, but also as special as, well, she is. There's even her, her devotional table where she could have some moments to herself right here in the bed. But I think what also makes it special and really encompasses Dolly as a whole is the fact that most of the proceeds, part of the proceeds go towards what? Explain the that. Imagination Library, absolutely. So we all know the Imagination Library is something that's super important to Dolly. Mm -hmm. She created that in honor of her dad um, who couldn't read. So that's something that you know is really important to her. And so it's really important to us. And so when we created this experience, we wanted to make sure to give back um, to that organization. And so a portion of all of the proceeds go to the Imagination Library from every stay. Um, and so that's just another way that Dolly can give back and that we can help her do that. And it is, it's an experience, all right? So just to give you a heads up in case you're going, oh, but how much? All right, so it's $10,000 for a minimum two nights, but that gets you also a room inside Dream More. You get a special lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, you get your park passes. So at least that includes a lot of other things. And of course, you know, you're supporting a great cause. This is just.